Willkommen zurück zu Tales of Arise. Ja, das letzte Mal war irgendwie äh, emotional wegen der ganzen Sache um Shion, aber auch sehr, sehr romantisch angehaucht. Aber davon dürfen wir uns jetzt nicht blenden lassen, sondern vielleicht eher Kraft rausschöpfen. Denn wir setzen jetzt unsere Reise, ich denke mal, zum letzten Ort fort. Und zwar nach Rena. Ja, wir wollen nach Rena aufbrechen. Und wie wir das wollen. Aber es ist so eine leichte... Demut mit dabei. It would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. You know what that means. Time to go to Rena. I guess this means we should give that warp drive a spin. There's nothing here. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Is this really where the Helganquil come from? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is... dead. Then this must be the Hollowing. You mean to tell me this whole world? The entire ocean is... that stuff? And it's covering everything. The entire planet. This is what the Great Spirit does. After it depleted this planet of every last speck of astral energy, it went after Dana. So arresting, this world of doom. Back in its day, Rena was probably just as vibrant as Dana is. But after being robbed of its astral energy for so long, those days are gone and past. This is all that will remain. So the Great Spirit took everything. It stole energy not just from living beings, but the land, the sea, everything. And it bound the Helganquil in servitude, until their whole world was nothing but this. And by the looks of it, that's how it remains to this day. A world of death and emptiness. With nothing left here to consume, the Great Spirit turned its sights on Dana, looking for another host. You're saying if we don't stop it, this is what Dana's going to look like? We can be sure that even these few remaining remnants of Ren and life will not be spared in the end. If the oblivion and darkness both Shion and Naori saw comes to pass, Nothing will survive. It looks like we can climb down from there. Let's take a look. Zerstörte Überreste. Rena. Das sieht wirklich nicht gut aus. So this is Rena. This is where everything began. Yet it's a dead world? I won't let Dana suffer the same fate. Ever. A hollowed ocean as far as the eye can see. What do you think would happen if we fell in? 
What do you mean, what would happen? You'd drown, wouldn't you? Come to think of it, I don't believe I've heard of someone ever trying. Perhaps you'd like the glory of being the first? Nah, I'll pass. This is essentially a world-sized Renan graveyard. Are you proposing to disturb the dead slumber just to satisfy your curiosity, Law? No, because I said I passed! Taking an interest is understandable, but let's not forget where we are. This place deserves our respect. Looks like we're not going to be hearing the end of this one for a while. You'd think I was already snorkeling in it or something! So the idea is to seal the Great Spirit inside the Renis Alma using the Sovereign and Maiden's power. But just how do we do that exactly? I'm guessing it won't be as easy as holding a spirit channeling ceremony at our leisure. I already had wielded astral energy once three centuries ago. As for suppressing her thorns, Shion's had a lifetime's experience. The problem isn't just our enemy's strength, it's that it's sentient too. And you can bet anything you like, it's not going to just sit back and let us destroy it. In other words, we need to find some way to weaken it in advance. The Great Spirit, that is. Back when Xion's thorns flew out of control, we were able to deal with them directly. If this is their host, they should be even more corporeal here. If that's the case, it should make them easier to attack at least. And if we can manage to divert enough energy away from the Spirit's core, even temporarily, we might just be able to weaken it enough to steal the Renis Alma, which we can then use to seal it away forever. It won't be easy, but it's our only shot. Time to buckle up! Question for you. Let's say, knock on wood, everything turns out for the best. What'll the world be like? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, at the end of this, do you really think everything will be that different? A lot will have to change, that's for sure. The world will have to adjust to so much. My only worry is if those changes turn out to be merely skin deep. What do you mean? It's well and good putting an end to Ren and Rule. But if it just turns the tables, it's all for naught. That's true. Just as bad if the Danans start oppressing their own. Renans, Danans, Astral Art users, mages. The world is full of labels used to divide and separate people. If only we could see differences like that for what they are. No different to someone having a musical talent or being good with their hands. Not differences so much as characteristics. It will take someone in power to set an example. But with time, people will follow. And then, perhaps one day... There will no longer be any need for the example. It will have become second nature. That's where we come in. We can set the example. Imagine it. A world where magic and astral arts are used to help people. Where that's the norm rather than the exception. Yeah, you're right, Rinwell. Why wait for somebody else? We can show them ourselves. Okay. We have... Guck gerade erstmal, bevor wir weitergehen, ob wir hier irgendwas machen können mit dem Ausrufezeichen. Ich glaube, das Ausrufezeichen ist dann das Raumschiff. Es sieht schon wirklich sehr trostlos hier aus. Aber es besteht immer noch Hoffnung. Ah, hier kann ich leider nicht weiter. Es wäre jetzt ein fieses Versteck gewesen für eine Truhe. Okay, wo muss ich hin? Hier gibt es drei Orte mit einem Fragezeichen. Hier kann ich nichts machen. Hier auch nicht. Okay. Dann hat sich das, glaube ich, relativ schnell geklärt. Ich hoffe nur, dass es... Ja, das sieht schon mal hier besser aus. Ich guck noch mal hier rum. Oh, uh, was ist das? Ein... Das sieht aus wie ein Hel Hel Helgan-Quill. 
Okay, hier können wir weiter. Ich bin sehr gespannt. Das ist hier sehr aufregend gerade für mich. Okay, wo sind wir hier? I wonder what Helganquil's civilization was like at its zenith. I can imagine that'd be something you'd take an interest in. There's no question it must have been advanced, like none either world has ever seen. We could surely stand to learn a thing or two from such a people. I get that you're itching to delve into its history, but we've got bigger fish to fry right now. Put a pin in it, and you can do all the research you want when you retire. I can think of worse things than a retirement dedicated to research. As for whether Rena is amenable to an aging specimen... It's a little early to be giving it serious thought just yet. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. Oh, we didn't say there's anything wrong with dreaming. In your case, Dohalim, dreams have a habit of spiraling into something else. You'll need to stay with us for now, though. You're too helpful to let retire. Why do I feel this is less of a compliment and more of an ultimatum? Just a friendly suggestion. Hey! Hey, I just realized something! Is this about dinner last night? I didn't realize those ingredients were off. What? No! I mean... Wait, you fed us rotten food? Rinwell, the point. Hm? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So I was thinking about those armored soldiers we've seen. There are regular Renans inside them, right? Yeah, they're designed to make whoever's wearing them stronger. At least, I think that's the idea. Right. So it kind of begs the question, then. Why are they made so huge? I don't know. Makes them more intimidating, I guess? Or maybe all that tech wizardry inside takes up a lot of space. You don't think it's weird how the armored soldiers are the exact same height as the Hell Ganquil? Can't say I'd ever noticed it till now. And? Connect the dots, Law! Okay, let me get this straight. You think the armored suits might have originally been designed to allow Renans to work alongside the Helganquil? Huh. But if that's true, what would that mean? It would mean... just that, I guess. But still, don't you think it's kind of interesting? Not... hugely? Hey, Kisara, well, I've got you. What's on tonight's menu? Because I was thinking, maybe meat? Get him, Hoodle. Ah! Ah! Oh! 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 What did I do? Oh, now you want to listen. Keep pecking, Hoodle. Ah! Ow, ow, ow! Seriously, what the hell? You know, guys, when you think about it, we've taken out a lot of Zoogles. Like, a whole lot. You can say that again. If one thing's for certain in this world, it's that wherever we go, we'll always end up bumping into them. Isn't it weird that they're still so plentiful? You don't think the Renans have, like, a ranch where they breed them, do you? Certainly in all of my years, I've never heard of them constructing such a massive facility on Dana, let alone up in Lenegas. The only thing I can think of, then, is that the Feral Ones must be reproducing on their own. There's also no organized effort on our part to hunt them down, so it's difficult to fully exterminate them. Exterminate them? Whoa, don't you think that's maybe a little harsh? What do you mean? Zoogles originally used to be living creatures native to Dana and Rena, right? Being genetically modified isn't their fault. You're right. Zoogles were only created because of us Renans. We altered the original creatures to suit our own ends. First people made Zoogles, and then we let them go. And now we're trying to kill them because they're a threat. They really have only seen the very worst, huh? I hope we find a way to be able to live side by side with them one day. It's a nice thought, but they attack towns and cities. What else are we supposed to do? Aside from the strays that have gone wild, it's worth remembering that Renans are able to keep them somewhat under control. If we had distinct territories that didn't overlap, that might reduce the danger they pose. Well, I guess when you look at it that way, maybe people and Zoogles aren't so different after all. Okay, müsst ihr das jetzt alle hier so besprechen? So wichtig war das doch jetzt gar nicht. 
So, wir sind auf irgendeiner oberen Ebene angelangt. Hier scheint die Technik noch zu funktionieren. Okay, was ist hier? Hallo, das ist doch. Äh, das ist doch jetzt nicht wahr. Guess they don't need their red woman disguises anymore. Wait, can you understand us? It's no use. We're not going to get through to them. So they really are being controlled. In that case, we've got no choice. Oh je, das sind aber viele. Okay, das macht hier kritischen Schaden, das ist ganz gut. Dann werde ich das doch weiter machen. Oh Mann. Alfin. I can't forgive them for what they've done, but I hate killing them. They don't even know why they're fighting. How does that even make them any different from the Danon slaves? Perhaps. However, if we don't make a choice, the guilt of not doing anything will be that much worse. Yeah, I know. I hate for it to be like this. But if it happens again, you won't find me hesitating to act. I wonder if we're going to get attacked again. If we lose heart now, this whole mission is over. We have to stay the course. I thought there'd be more dirt and rocks and stuff underneath the hollowed ocean, but it's all artificial. I would imagine they're remnants left behind by the Helganquil, seeing as there's little actual land remaining. It's incredible. Do you think it stretches all the way down to the center of the planet? Hey, these guys built Lenigus, remember? He probably did this in a weekend. If they had the power to create things like this, Did they really only use those immense capabilities to serve the Great Spirit? Or rather, was that the only use the Great Spirit let them use their capabilities for? We haven't seen anyone here except Helganquil. Looks like this place really is their home planet. The true citizens of Rena. What a shame that they have become nothing more than puppets to the Great Spirit. 
to think of the promise their accomplishments once held. They had the potential to be great indeed. Do you think we could have got along with them? You know, if we had met under different circumstances, like... Like all of us, you mean? I suppose it's difficult to say for sure. We don't even know if they would see us as being on an equal level with them or not. I think we may have had the chance once, before the Renan Great Spirit came along and... changed everything. You and Alfin both share an optimism. A strong willingness to believe and hope. <laughs> Do you think that's foolish? On the contrary, I should like to take a leaf from your book myself. In tragedy's aftermath, hope is all we have. Just look at the size of that thing. The Helganquil's technology certainly is impressive. And they don't seem to do things by halves, either. In the past 300 years. No, oh, even before that. Just how many people, Renan or Danon, do you think have ever seen this? Regarding the past three centuries, at least, I'd say there's a good chance that we're the first. Also, while I get that it's impressive and all, I'm just amazed you're still standing around gawping at it at a time like this. Sometimes I wonder about your priorities. I can understand where he's coming from. More to the point, does anyone know where it leads? What do you mean, where it leads? To the center of the planet, of course. And that doesn't strike you as sounding just a little bit, oh, I don't know, far? There has to be a quicker way to get there, right? Yeah. With all this technology at their fingertips, it seems pretty unlikely that they'd make that kind of journey on foot. There must be some kind of device somewhere. Let's see if we can figure out how to use it. Borrow one of their contraptions? You're either brave or out of your mind. If it works for them, there's no reason it wouldn't for us. Why make things harder for ourselves? You know what he's like, Law. Once he gets an idea in his head, there's no talking him out of it. Also gut. Dann pürschen wir mal weiter voran, aber es sieht hier echt aus wie so ein Palast, finde ich. Es hat ein bisschen was von diesen Ruinen ganz am Anfang, als Shion ihre Kampfrüstung gefunden hat. Da sah es auch so, uh, so ähnlich aus. Uiui. Das ist, also es ist sehr schön hier inszeniert, obwohl das alles sehr trostlos ist natürlich mit Rena. Und da haben wir auch irgendwelche Wölfe direkt. Alpha Wutwolf, okay. Ich frage mich. Sind die jetzt alle dunkel? Also mit dunkler Energie? Oh. Okay, das funktioniert ja richtig gut mit Rinwell. Mega. Das hat gesessen. 
Okay, keine neuen Objekte, aber das wird mit Sicherheit mit der Zeit auch noch kommen. I wonder how the Renans avoided being mind controlled like the Helganquil. Do you think it might have something to do with the fact that they were originally Danans? I'd say it's likely, which is pretty ironic when you think about it. Ironic? The Renans have committed grave injustices against the Danans. But it was all of their own volition, not because they were being controlled. Now, it turns out they themselves were once Danans too. Which must mean that the root of their evil isn't the Great Spirit, but something inherent in all of us. Our free will. Now hang on, though. It was that same free will that allowed Xion and Dohalim to choose to fight alongside us. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to beat hatred and forge all those connections we've made. Free will is what saved us, right? Law's entirely right. In any case, it certainly can't hurt to look on the bright side every now and then. Yeah. Where there's hope, there's a way. <laughs> What'd he say? He said, without a doubt. Traubengelee, nicht schlecht. Das werden wir auf jeden Fall benötigen, aber mir fällt gerade ein, ich habe jetzt schon länger nicht mehr die Fertigkeiten gelevelt. Das wäre ja vielleicht eine Idee. Allerdings haben wir für Elfen nicht wirklich viel FP. Oh, okay, Shion hat 1096. Uh, das ist interessant. Ich gucke aber gerade noch mal ein bisschen weiter. Ah, hier sind auch gute Sachen dabei, aber alle sehr, sehr teuer. Mm. Uns fehlen auch noch so viele Embleme. Oh, da könnten wir auch bald fertigstellen. Das sollte möglich sein. Okay, ich glaube, ich gehe hier mit... Mm. Was bekomme ich nochmal? Plus 30 Angriff. Okay, ja. Das mache ich. Dann haben wir jetzt die tickende Zeitbombe komplett abgeschlossen. Ich denke, plus 30 Angriff sollte ja ein gutes Attribut sein. Und ja, mal gucken, welches Emblem wir als nächstes fertigstellen. Rinwell ist auch richtig gut mit den 1401. Hm... Heilige Lanze, das ist zumindest mit Lichtelement. Göttlicher Säbel, auch mit einem Lichtelement. Hm, sie hat auch noch sehr viele nützliche Dinge offen, aber die FP reichen einfach nicht aus. Schnellere Magieaufladung würde auch Sinn machen, weil dann ist halt alles weg. Machen wir es einmal so. Mm. Plus 50 Elementarangriff. Ich muss gerade gucken, welches Emblem sich noch lohnt, weil wir sind ja schon im, ich sag mal, am Ende des Spiels. Und naja, in der Luft schaden ist auch immer gut. So, Kisara hat auch sehr hochpreisige Sachen. Sarah hat sehr viele passive Sachen. Oh, Dohalim äh, fällt leider aus. Aber Law hat sehr viel angesammelt. 
Ja, wie gesagt, man muss echt gucken, ob man einzelne Fertigkeiten bevorzugt oder ob man noch bestimmte Embleme versucht fertig zu bekommen. Weil wir ja jetzt relativ am Ende des Spiels sind. Macht das jetzt ein bisschen nach Gefühl. So. Gut, dann wechseln wir hier vielleicht auch noch mal ein bisschen die Angriffe. Denn dieser Planet wird ja von dunkler Astralenergie geprägt. Hat auch nur... Hm. Nochmal hier bei den Luftangriffen. Hm. Tatsächlich sind gar nicht so viele Sachen dazugekommen, wenn ich das jetzt richtig sehe. Waren das auch viele passive Talente. Weil wir brauchen hier bei Runwell auf jeden Fall starke Lichtattacken, denn sie ist da wirklich, wirklich gut. So, Kisara hat immer noch keinen Luftangriff, aber ganz viele Bodenangriffe. Gut, bei Doralim konnten wir zwar leider keine neue Fertigkeit freischalten, aber das heißt nicht, dass ich hier nicht nochmal durchgucken kann, ob er in der letzten Zeit irgendwas dazugelernt hat. So, zu guter Letzt gucken wir nochmal bei Lore. Gut, ich würde sagen, das hier ist schon mal ein krasser Auftakt in Rena und ich bin einfach nur sehr gespannt, wie sich das alles lösen lässt, ob nochmal ein Plot Twist kommt und ja, ich danke euch auf jeden Fall fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal.